Hello, John here. The Nerd of Who, Auckland. I always got this sense of ringing people. I'll call you in 10 minutes, uh, Manahi. Okay. Cheers. run outside because the reception is bad where he is <coughs> and uh, I'm hoping that his phone is on because I need to talk to him and I'm going to ring the Marae in Auckland to book it for the 11th, the Ongawaka Marae for the 11th of November 2017. For Hui, for Referefa Manukau. He sold land to Rogan on the 11th of November 1862. And his ancestor, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, sold the whole of New Zealand to King George IV through. William Simon, Lieutenant William Simon, 23rd Reg Regiment, British Royal Navy, Magistrate, Magistrate with his Magistrate book in his hand, to send his son to Auckland, Manukau Harbour, William Simon. Now, <coughs> Because the provincial area of Auckland stretched from Cape Rayanga or Te Rerangawairua down to below Taupo, Lake Taupo, below Lake Taupo, straight across. That was the provincial Auckland title at that time. And back to 1834, when the Manukau title was activated. And before that, back to 1820, Te Rawaikato Whare Here went to England and set up this native title to New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Right from 1820 through to 1830, when he died, King George IV died, then King William IV took that private contract between Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau and King George IV, the brother of King William IV, and continued on till he gave, King William IV gave the flag to connect that contract with this flag, bank trading military flag to protect our business with the Manukau Moriori title to the whole of New Zealand, to the whole of the Pacific Islands and now to the whole of the world. So, on the 11th of November 1862 to the 11th of November 2017 I am now going to have a hui at Te Unga Waka Marae on that day. Just making an announcement. That's six days away. So I will book the marae <coughs> and go and run our karakias to Referefa Manukau Paramount Chief, to Mohi Manukau, Mohi Temati Manukau the Fourth Paramount Chief in Kaipara, Hillsville, Awarawa Native Magistrate Court. So you see, I've done a lot of work as Mohi's executor of the Moriori Manukau Trust. I have
have a Wanoa trust as well, because that's mixed up with the Rogan as well, because it was Rogan who bought the land for five pounds deposit from a referee for Manukau that's sitting right in that book in the front. This book. Not that book. This book. Here. Right there. Right, see the receipt? That's Tuunga Wakamarai here in the Auckland province. <coughs> Three magistrate courts. Okiato Magistrate, Native Magistrate Court in the Bay of Islands, Russell. The second one in Awaroa, Native Magistrate Court in Helensville with Manukau. And the third Magistrate Court in the East Gate, Whakawhikira Native Magistrate Court between Tiki Tiki and Ruatoria on Mount Hikaragi and <coughs> Hiruharama Marae, right there, in that area of our Waiapu district, county. Okay, so that Marae in Tiki Tiki, Rahui Marae, is the Marae that puts the Rahui or ban on any piece of land in this country with a ban of fishing, ban of anything uh, for a period of time until it recovers. So that's the Tiki Tiki St. Mary Church on the hill as my own Church of England with the birth, death and marriages first registered in 1831. So those were going straight into the Manukau title. Moriori and the Wānoa Marae and mostly Wānoas in that Marae and Tiki Tiki. Right? That's all my ancestors in there uh, I'm standing for and talking. As well as the Marangairoa Marae in <coughs> Awatere. They changed that name too, this mischief. New South Wales, Maoris. So we're talking Moai. Straight to Tipito at Eastgate on Ha Ha Land Blocks and Tipito on East Island, Rapanui, to Mokanui, now Urupa, the one or Urupa, up the hill in Whakangiangi, five miles south of Tiararoa. Okay, so that's the history. I'm saying it's connected to the Manukau's in Ratna, <coughs> Wānoa's down there, uh, to the Wānoa's at Tiki Tiki and Te Araroa, Eastgate, okay, to the Manukau's there um, in Ratna. I got all these stories from Mohi. We went down there and I met my cousin down there. And one, one time we went on the 22nd, they have the celebrations for Ratna in January to the 25th Ratna Day. That's the Memorial Day on the 25th. But the 11th of November, uh, the 11th of November 2017 is the day of Refa Refa Manukau, Paramount Chief, signing a contract with this flag, a private contract to sell the whole of Pukekohe right here in this receipt. Now, I've just discovered that Tira Waikato on the land titles in <coughs> Hokianga has been switched to be female. It's got Tira Waikato F. That means female. I know land titles, especially native land titles. A male would have M. They've taken all the M's out and just put F. That's the switch and bait. Between there and the Minahinex on Manukau Marae in Waiuku. Right out towards the heads. 
I went there. I have it on film with Mohi Manaka standing there saying, that's my marae. So the Minahinex, I'm, I'm afraid, have stolen the Manakao's marae. He wanted everything back. He wanted his marae back. He wanted his urupa at the top of One Tree Hill back. That's why we went up there to have the memorial. Well, what I do is this. <coughs> the history I have is in this book. They are leased lands, occupation titles, to this Manukau Moriori title in Britain. You have a New South Wales fraudulent Treaty of Waitangi title, bad title, sitting on someone else's marae. You can fuck a papa into it, but the buck stops there. I'll read it out to you. The receipt. Okay? I'll read it in Maori, see how, how, how good I am, because I'm, I, I don't speak Maori very much. Deed receipts, number 79. <coughs> I can't see. Ue Tawa. I've got to get some glasses. No, I, use this, I use this monocle, like that. My learned monocle. Uwe Tawa Block, Pukekohe, Manukau District. D. Receipts number 79. 1862, 11th of November, Manukau District. Uwe Tawa, receipt for five pounds. Right, five pounds. On that day, Kua riro mai ki au na te rokena e rima pa pauna taki tahi maku ine muni e faka hokia ki a ia ina rite te utu mō tā maua Whenua, or mana whenua, you see, no that's not mana whenua, that's, oh yeah, uh, maua, maua whenua, should have been mana whenua, maua whenua, ko uetawa, that's U-E-T-A-U-A, -A, <coughs> ko pukikahi te ingoa nui te tawa, signed Refa Refa Manukau, in capital letters, okay, it's in capital letters, that means contract, right back in 1862, his name and surname is in capital letters, birth certificate, title, corporate name, Akara, Akara, Akarana, November 11th, 1862, translation, I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay this to him when we receive the payments for our land, Uetawa. Pukekohe is the name of that land. Auckland, November 11, 1862, a true transcript office copy of receipt. H. Hanson Turton. Wellington, October the 5th. 1875, deed of receipts number 80. So that's the next one be besides after deeds of receipts number 79. <coughs> Signed again on the second one in English on that day, Wellington, October the 5th, 1875. Signed by Refa Refa Manukau in capitals. Hanson, H. Hanson Turton's name is in capitals. Okay, so those are corporate names at 1862. Right there. Okay, so. <coughs> 
that's why we're having a hui. Doesn't matter where it is. Anywhere in the area of Auckland, it could be up north. We're having the hui on the 18th, a Saturday, 18th of November 2017 at Tahiti. I'll just try Manahi again. I'll try again. I'll try again, uh, money in about five minutes. Okay. So um, the Auckland area is still all those titles that have deed numbers on them. Survey. Survey seized of survey mark of the first name on the title. So they all fall under this title. <clears throat> and this writ warrant to so seize them back into this title because they're fraudulent. Cook Street is fraudulent. I'm taking Cook Street back because the titles belong to the Manukau. Got that? That's what we've doing, been doing since 2008 with Mohi Manukau on Cook Street. This time I'll get it without fail with this receipt. This name, Refa Refa Manukau, was not put on the titles. That's what I went in and Lynn's New Zealand, Land Information New Zealand, failed. Twice they rejected that Manukau interest. Now, in the Land Transfer Act 1952, all interests in Maori land has to have that name on it if they are proven to have an interest in the land. Not necessarily a financial interest, but an interest in the land. They are the owners, actually. They are the commercial owners in capital letters. Right there. Look, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put a reference for money car. That's a corporate name. Here, right where I've got my finger. Right? See? <coughs> That's in Maori language. And he signed again at the bottom in the English translation twice on two separate occasions. Okay, the first one on the 11th of November, 1862, and then in, on the 11th of November, let me make sure. Oh, 11th of November 1862 are the same time. They signed again. In the, it says in Auckland, November 11th 1862, a true transcript of office copy of receipt H. Hanson Turton. So that was signed the same day in Auckland. Well, that's in Maori. It's Akarana, November 11th. They've left out who signed with him, but they put in the name of who signed in English. So they never signed the uh, Rogan, it looks like they've rubbed Rogan's name out, because <coughs> I want to find out on the documents where they get the name Kira Waikato, if, in brackets, from where they get that name to put on their titles in the Hokianga district. I'm going to put those all online so you can see where they switched the Manukau title. I've been saying that for a long time. Oh, he's not answering. That's terrible. Well, when you're in business, the phone rings all the time. But Anyway, I have somebody to answer the phones all the time. Uh, since we don't get money, I was just going to tell them all about this and the fact of these documents that are online. I'm going to show you, if I can find it, I'll go back and try and find those documents I uploaded. And I put a lot of posts and buried right in the middle of everything hasn't got its own site. <coughs> I'm going to try and find it 
be with me. You can, you can pick out all the fraudulent people straight off by what I post. Every time I post something, it's got fraud people in it. And their faces are predominant, predominantly white. Always white, but because the white ones made the laws. They made the laws and screwed them for their own selves. They got poisons and all sorts. We're going to catch them out. We're, we're going to catch them. No one escapes Moai. Okay, I'm going to show you this on this name. I'm going to show you what is wrong with these whakapapas that these people are doing their treaty claims on. Shy. I'm going to show you. I'll just blow this one up. Okay, here. You see here. Whakapapa. Ten. Ngati. Rongo. Iwi. Iwi. See? Iwi. This is where the trouble is. The Iwi is fashioning out fake titles. Mahanga. Eleven. No. Ngati. Te Ata. Equals. Married. Tira Waikato. That's the male side, but they took the M out for male. And they've got Tera Waikato woman. It's usually female. If equals Ripiro two. Okay? Tera Waikato. Oh, hang on. Mahanga. Woman. Yeah, there's the male there. The male. Married. This woman and this woman. This Tera Waikato is a male from Mangatauteri Mountain in the Waikato because that's the name Waikato comes from Waikato not from up north this is up north this this tribe this iwi you see this is where it's going all wrong oh the Te Uriho see well he used to talk a lot about Te Uriho. I got the claims here for the Te Uriho, and then I had the Moriori claims and I lodged them in the treaty claims and the Y one to one. Even the Y one to one was all wrong. And Mohi did nothing about it. He just let it roll the wrong way. He just went along with it and it was wrong. There's Nati Kahu Otai woman. Kahu is Nati Kahu up north. You see? Because I knew I went there to Rafidi and Mohi Manikau and sister Refere for Manikau is Buried up the top of the hill. I filmed it with one of those big, ugly old cameras I hired. Right? So, um, we've got that history to Nati Kahu. You see, it's coming, out of, it's coming out of this fake woman, Waikato, when this, this Tira Waikato is a male. He's the big chief that went to Edinburgh Magistrate Court and put the documents together. And these guys have pinched it. The Iwi has pinched it. And all this whakapapa is wrong. That's what I'm saying. It's wrong. Arama, Kraka, Clark, Teoria Ho. See? I know all this because I've got it over here. I've got all the complete Manukau history. The right one. And I knew this all along. That they were dicking around with the wrong one. And Mohi did nothing about it. And that's what I'm saying to Alfred Mitchell. I'm just showing you, Alfred Mitchell, that... Everything about the Confederation is wrong because the Whakapapa is all wrong. The whole lot out of these two with the Manukau name is Ngāti Rongo Iwi. Iwi, not Hapu, Iwi has fashioned themselves around the Manukau title from Edinburgh, Scotland, right there. 
You see, it says W for woman, woman, or it usually is F for female. You won't see anybody else like that. They've just put that there. And here, no? Kahu, a male, married equals Otai, a female, woman. And it's usually F there in a married land called Tuttle. They've bodged this up. They've bodged it up. And here I've written something here. It's on Facebook. I put it on Facebook because it's this close. I'm disclosing all the title fraud. This is where the switch and bait of Manukau title is fraud, Pakeha, Whakapapa. Will, I will sort out who corrupted the Manga Totori Manukau Moriori British Crown Land Patent title is right here. You see, they're not going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it. And Manahi will be shocked if, when he sees that, but they didn't know. No one knew this, only me. Only me didn't do this. Nobody else. Okay? You, you, you're seeing it for the first time. <coughs> the Native Land Claims Adjustment and Laws Amendment. His authorised... This is, this is... Look, this is in 1901. His authorised agent for the amount named in the order of the court shall in each case respectively be a complete and valid discharge to His Majesty the King. You see? His Majesty the King. Well, the last His Majesty the King is King William, and they're saying that in 1901, number 65, right? Page 254. Verbal Amendment of the Native Contracts and Promises Acts. 1888. There, I'm, I'm citing this. I'm citing this. Look, read it. Read it. We're pointing the finger. It says, Verbal Amendment of the Native Contracts and Promise Act. 1888 in brackets. That means it is a contract. Uh, anything in brackets, in lowercase, is a real contract right there. See those apostrophe marks? That denotes that it's in capitals um, as corporate company. That's all. His authorised agents for the amount named, that's always the deposit, in the order of the court, shall in each case respectively be a complete and valid discharge, that means sole sale, to His Majesty the King, <coughs> the Government of New Zealand, and all officers and servants thereof in respect of the amount so paid. 28, whereas by Clause 6 of the Schedule of the Native Contracts and Promises Act, 1888, an area of 41 acres and 38 perches of land known as Section 2, Number 2A of Block X, Tauramarama Survey, Survey, always a survey, District, Survey District, Wairau County Land District of Hawke's Bay was vested in 10 natives, their name as tenants in common, but by mistake one was referred to as Te Wata. See, so that's how they did it. <coughs> that's how they did it in this New Zealand law change where they've just nilly-willy put people's name there and mistake was one of them. They made lots of mistakes so that they can fraud the documents, okay? They defrauded the public of New Zealand and especially the Paramount Chiefs. She's in trouble. The Queen is in trouble with me. <coughs> this is treason, high treason. PM John Key on Queen Elizabeth II, Jesuit Cabal, Assassination List, Volume Up. You see, those are all the assassinations that the Queen has uh, got involved with to keep people out of her road while she zaps the land. All about fraud. I'm going to try and find this other bit. You can see all the fraud that will be 
Here's our three. You see this form? Sheriff. This is the form you fill out when you find a fraudster with lots of stolen property. This is the blue collar people. Okay? We put them into our native court under these titles. I can't find the other one. They're too far back. Ah, oh, might be this one. No. <coughs> so you see, there's no mana on Titi Marai. It, there's nothing there because that flag belongs to King George the Fourth private contract. It's it's a it's a contract flag. It's not used for anything else. It's not used for anything else. It was there to use as trade and that's not our problem that the um, chiefs, the 13 chiefs got in trouble because this is not about the 13 chiefs. This is about Moriori title, the, le the, the legal owners of New Zealand. Look at this hell man, white. Yeah, Bastard Church of Hell has an army of 13,000 what the hell did God say? Don't kill others that they will in turn kill you. He is a murderer. Why do white people like killing others to make themselves rich? One of these days soon my eye says God will destroy what he created, a white man, asshole, scum of this planet Earth. Black man will rule instead. God chose the black man to put the pyramids up and the Maui statues. <coughs> Now I can't find that other one because it's too far back. Anyway, I, I wanted to get to those documents. Will the Queen be made to break her oath? Well, she's broken it enough. She's not even there. She's not even there. She has skipped the country and gone into EU Parliament. Here's my darling. Right there. Won't be long. Now oh, here we go. We've got it here. Presently uploading the Maui Crown land patents for Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court. It's a New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. The first Native Magistrate Court book was bound up today at where stationary Manukau City with 20 extra pages that was signed by the Paramount Chiefs in Waitangi ready to send to the British Government and British Royal Navy and DUP Party Northern Ireland, my own Protestant Church, Rogan Cosgrove coat of arms title with the Maui Crown title in London with the Moriori Manukau title in Edinburgh, Scotland, 1820. My new mobile number, okay, is 027-531-2376. That's the new <coughs> smartphone I've got. It's going to be... <coughs> For the deposits on TagPay using Android Spark for my Powerhouse bank account, we got our own bank. Uh, my original mobile in 2007 was 027 It's back on TagPay for the original my Title Turbine Shares smartphone Android Spark. The normal phone is 020-4085-1042. It's Android Spark for business calls and text. So there we have the statements of what we do. No, I can't find it. Never mind. Never mind. So there's Bundy here. I tie framing laws for the Whakaminia. So that's the Whakaminia. It's not the Moriori Manukau title on the 11th of November 1862. And Ratna. <coughs> okay. Okay, okay. That's all we need to do there. Um, I'm going to just switch this back on me and we'll finish off the video. Um, I'm feeling quite well today. Rested well and went to the gym yesterday. <coughs> on Saturday the 4th of 
November 2017. I'll be up there again today. Um, eating well. Let's make sure I'm fit for the next two hui's. The first one will be on the 11th at 2 in the Waka Marae. I will book it. I will book it. I'll just try and bring this. I'll book it. and have it ready for our hui. I'll see if I can see the number here. I'll see if I can find the next number. <coughs> she said to ring her anytime I want them around. I just need it for an hour. That's all. Two hours at the most. We just go in there, sign our documents, and mark that day on that marae. It's a Catholic church marae. I don't mind that one bit. Um, I'm sure I've got a number in here. Somewhere. I'll find it afterwards. I'll find it. If I can't find it, I was just going to bring up on here. While you are watching me make all these, I'm going to write my letter to my um, to sort out the Cook Street afterwards. I'm going to sort that out. Man, I don't know where it is. Oh, Morris Baker's all the way down there. It must be somewhere around here. But I just want to make arrangements so that it's locked in history. And it's true. Oh, this Paula Hakariah. I'll, I'll bring her. <coughs> Paula. Yeah. Hi Paula, it's John Wanoa here. I'm, I'm hoping I can get the Marae for one hour or two on the 11th, uh, it's Saturday, uh, just to um, officiate our documents. Uh, there won't be anything big, we'll just come in and mark the Marae for the 11th, which is the Ratna day of the uh, titles in the Hokianga I've been working with up in Tahike and Hokianga uh, connected to that marae where you are, so that your history is intact with the Refa Refa Manukau and Rogan title um, to the province of Auckland. <coughs> and I'm putting it right back there with the other documents we've done there. We've got them officiated up in Titi Marae and signed by the chiefs and also in Hokianga signed. And we're having another hui on the 18th that's uh, a Saturday at uh, Tahike Marae is booked uh, for this documents in this book uh, for the Auckland titles on your marae there. So it's very important that I be in there uh, with our group again. That's only uh, for one hour at the least or two hours at the most. Any time of the day would do. We'll just fit in with any other thing going on in the marae so long as we get an hour the least on that historic day and that's when they have celebrations down in Ratna and our chief is going down there, um, uh, Manahi Paraparamohini, he's going down there to represent your marae uh, and uh, Hokianga as well. Um, so we want to mark the two places and 
the Ratna have their um, celebration for T.W. Ratna on the 22nd to the 25th of his birthday, the 25th of January uh, 2018. So that's what that 11th day on a Saturday is very important for all the titles in the um, northern regions and Auckland regions that stretches down to Topol, uh, south of the Lake Topol and down to the east coast on the magistrate's courts that we've linked up to your Marae in the main Auckland area. So that's as much in a mouthful and I hope you say yes to me and we will be quick and in a flash and out. Okay? That's for the document's sake to mark the history right there next to One Tree Hill. Okay? I'm doing this for the Manukau Moriori titles and the Nafui title. Thanks. There, that's Paula. <coughs> I'll try and find Annette. Annette is the one that's good to me, too. I like the woman better than the men. First, the men give me a runaround. Now, um, John Tahana and Richard Tahana, they will come there because that's Marae from the group in Hokianga. They will come to the Hui because I'm going to go on Radio Napoli land up there and make the announcement. So then get in their little cars or get on the Manabas and come on the Manabas down. We're not going to book the Marae overnight. We only want one hour or two hours at the most, like the last time. But they gave me the marae all night to have a sleep. And, and it was very nice to cook us some dinner. <coughs> Made us feel special. Uh, so, um, I can't find any number. I'll deal with this myself because the change, the stories change all the time when I get somebody else's doing all the talking. Last time when he told me the hui up at Titi was on a Thursday, in fact, oh, no, no, sorry, <coughs> the funeral for um, Nicky Orich in Kayo, he said it was a Thursday, and hello, they were already on a Wednesday. Then I missed out, but I went to his burial. I was there on his burial at the Ratana Church on Thursday, the main day. I met Bryce Smith, uh, not his son, and that was special to meet him and acknowledge his father. Nicky Ulrich, I've been with him for many, many years on Titi Marae. And he did so much to try and bring everybody together and put it on the table. But they failed. The people failed. Not Nicky. The people failed. They didn't trust anybody. They didn't trust themselves and others with their documents. Because I tell you what, their titles looking at this is all wrong. No one's going to argue with this. <clears throat> I'm going to show you where it's all gone pear shaped. And that's when it changes. There's Paulus number all the way through, but I don't see in it. So I should have looked at this before. Anyway, I can't find in its number. So I'll leave it there. Um, um, what else did I want to show you? Um, I'm doing uh, a lot on the... I'm doing a lot on the um, treaty codes to find who's telling all the fibs. I'll tell you what, it's all fibs. The whole lot is fibs. If one title is wrong, they haven't used the money for title, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Um, so, 
So, I'm going through the Maori land court titles and treaty claims and also the Maori um, maps, mapping areas. I'm going to switch this off and restart the damn thing. It's always, I'm working with a broken computer. I've got two new ones here, yeah, I haven't even touched them yet. Um, I'll, I'll keep going on the same one, the old, old one. But it's really good, the old one. And these new ones, I've got to get to them one day. Oh, that's a nice photo. I've already got that one, though. Put that on <coughs> here. Okay, leave that there. Go and open that. And let's go and have a look. I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm here at the moment. I've got all the treaty books over here. I've got to go and pull them out. I've got to pull them out. There, I'm on this claim. Y674 and Y632. Maori, the Crown and the Northern Waro. Te Roroa Perspective. I was going through Mohi Manukau with this <coughs> Gary Hooker. Now, all this history... <coughs> has <coughs> changed. Even I got all the Poto blocks, <coughs> all those blocks where the, <coughs> the names have been spread all over it. <coughs> They've been spread all over it. Spreading names all over the place is, is um, I've got no issues there. But it's the documents. My main focus is the documents. Te Uriho. Now, this, this, this is where it's all gone pear shape with Te Uriho and the Manukau title, <coughs> because they borrowed it from Waikato. It, um, um, uh, Waikato Wharehere in Manukau's uh, pa in Mangatautori. That's where it's been borrowed from, and that's what Mohi was trying to tell me. But he couldn't quite link the two, otherwise we would have got straight there to the marae there, but he didn't go near it. We didn't go near that marae, and I was quite surprised we didn't go there. See, according to Aparahama Taunui, Kupe was a man who arrived in this land. He came to seek Tupu Tupu Whenua. You see, this is not a title. He searched everywhere, everywhere but could not find him in the south. He found him in Hokianga. Does Hokianga then belong to Kupe? So these are histories that have fitted over the top of the Moriori title to Britain. Britain picked the right um, uh, names have come from Chatham Islands. That, that's, a, that's a real history. And the Solomons got in there and screwed that lot up. Right? They screwed the Maori Manukau's name right out of it. The land will be deserted. The meaning of the phrase, a deserted land. <coughs> <coughs> they got killed off. That's what happened. Te tai. So all of this is stuck themselves to the Manukau name all the way through. But that name, Tira Waikato, has been changed into a female, as if he can change his sex. And that's what this title's all about. According to Hita Paikia of Te Uriho, these lands, Kaipara lands, originally, originally belonged to Ngāti Awa. I heard the elders in Ngāti Awa were the people who had Tai Wawe Mai arrived here first. So this, this, the British went straight to Chatham Islands, or it was called Rekuhu Island, or Rekuhu Country, um, because that's where Mohi Manukau came from. The name is over there, the Manukau name, the Waitangi name, the Hikurangi name, all those names came here from there. They didn't go from here to there, they came from there to here. Just shows you, they were here first. Nobody's going to believe it, but tough. The British title says it all. Right, here we go. <coughs> I'm just going to quickly run through this. I go straight past there. This is Ngāti Whātua. I go straight past there because I, I, I just pick out the bones. I'll just go straight for any name I can notice in these whakapapa. I go straight past all those ones. I'm looking for the name of the Manukau's. And see, there should have been Manukau names right through here. It's been taken out. There's Rahiri there. Te 
Awanu awa awa apui te nati awa. Okay, so these mamari, all all, all these wakas, tinana. There's tinana there that took Auckland. You see, took Auckland from Manukau. See, there's their whakapapa. There's nothing in the Manukau in there because they've been left out. They can't stitch themselves. In the treaty claims, they've stitched themselves. I told them at Mohi Manukau why I wanted one claim in, in with Rachel Holbrook from the o, o, OTS, Office of Treaty Settlements. I said, I said to her, take that name Manukau off, because I was speaking for Mohi. I said, take that name Manukau off your title. What you got? Nothing. You won't have a Manukau Harbour to talk about. Okay. There's Awaro, Awaro, that name Awaro, in um, um, Helensville. There's the name Awaro there again. See? So, um, <coughs> Kaitaia, down, these are the blocks where we are. See, we're here in Horeke, and we're, we're here in Rawini. We're, we're in this area at the moment with um, Morris Baker. We're in um, Taheke. Uh, hang on, Kaiko is there. So Taheke is where he lives, here, Horeke, he, he lives here, on this main road, about here. Okay, and the road, the Horeke road going that way. Okay, so that's, that's the Rawini there, we went to Rawini <coughs> to get his medication from there, and his doctor's um, um, uh, pharmacy. And so it's not far from his place, it's about here, where this road goes, to Horeke. Right, so here's the area that I'm looking at of um, the chief, paramount chief, um, uh, Hori Tikuri. Hori Tikuri comes from here. And the Ratna church is the house that I sleep in. I'm sleeping in a church. <coughs> Ratna himself's church. It's a house. I'm going to put it back into a church. I told Maury, Morris, Oi, I'm going to put this back into a church, mate. You go and build a house in the paddock. And um, we'll put it back how it was. And we'll go and fix up Taheke Marae and make it the best marae in the country with the mana in it. Okay. So well, down we go. Yeah, well, I'm going to go through here. There's that tupu tupu whenua. I can't see any of Mohi's ancestors in this lot, you see? Nothing. And that's his lens. That's what he's trying to tell me. That, John, those people sit in my land. In fact, it was the whole country that was sitting on his land. His ancestor sold the whole place. Ngāti Oho. There's Ngāti Oho. On one hand, you accept this explanation. Now, that name, that name I, can, I can relate to, Ngāti Ngā Oho. Okay? Um, oh, that's in um, Mere Mere, uh, Ngāti Oho. Okay, I know about that. Uh, Kawa, that's Kawa, that's Napuis. That's the other fellow that sold Auckland. Well, it was already sold. They sold it again um, from Australia titles. And they had no, no legal authority to sell it. Ah, here we go, here we go. Um, Kawa Pa, that's going further down. But anyway, I'm gone past that lot. I'm going to try and find anything in here. I'm, I'm, going, I'm skipping through all this Ngāti Whātua stuff. To, to, see, I'm, I'm going through it that much because I've been through it many times before uh, with Mohi. We've gone through this and I'm... Kafaru, there's P. Kafaru. Origin of Te Tau Iwi. So that's, that's in uh, Rewiti Marae in Helensville. <coughs> And we had who is there? Um, for Papa, South Ka Kaipara, here we go. Uh, where's the where's the where's the Monica name? There's nothing there. This is all done by Tauiwi, Pakia, in South Wales. Well, that's not my problem. That's not my problem. That's for Bundy and them to sort out. But they can't talk about my